All right, you are welcome to Intimate Talk with Dr. Tolu, your number one sex doctor in Nigeria. And uh, yeah, I'm excited and it's a beautiful Tuesday evening and Tuesday night. And I'm happy to be here with you guys. Um, I missed you, you know. If I don't find myself in this place, I kind of feel like something is wrong, you know. So I'm happy to be here tonight and don't mind my voice and I had a very bad cold last week and I'm just trying to get out of it. So so don't mind my voice and of course good evening and thank you for joining me tonight. You are welcome to my show Intimate Talk with Dr. Tolu where we talk about relationship, where we talk about sex, where we talk about marriage. My name is Dr. Tolu. I'm a clinical relationship and marriage counselor. I'm a sex therapist and I am a matchmaker. I am in the business of building homes, mending relationships and fixing sexual issues. You are welcome to my show tonight and I am live on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Wherever you are in traffic, I mean, <laughs> Lagosians don't sleep on time actually. So if you are stuck in traffic or you are in your home or inside your car listening to intimate talk with dr tolu or in your house wherever you are thank you for joining me tonight and of course you know you could actually watch me live on wazobia max channel 259 on dstv and of course if you don't even have a cable you could actually work watch on your uh free to air so i am live with you wherever you are at the end of the day it's all about making sure you're happy your relationship is doing well your marriage is doing well and everything about you is doing beautifully well and of course you could join me live on facebook so you don't have access to your radio you don't have access to your uh tv you don't have any excuse because if you could actually watch me live on 99.3 nigeria info just look for nigeria info fm on facebook search for it go to our page and join me live all right thank you guys for joining me tonight and of course you don't want to be selfish about this if intimate talk with tolu i've been touching your life i've been uh, you know helping you to solve solve um your emotional issues and you've been gaining a lot for all oh, even if it's not a lot you've gained a little from this program you will be doing people you care about a lot of good by telling them to tune into this program intimate talk with tolu is treading the dreaded path we know people have issues when it comes to intimacy matters when it comes to sexual issues a lot of people are going through critical uh time so i mean you will be doing them a lot of good even if they're outside the country they could actually watch live on uh on our facebook page so there's no excuse for you to have an uncle a friend a sister a brother who is struggling with a marriage who is sad who is depressed and of course the topic i'm taking tonight i'm taking it you know considering uh what is happening in our society now i mean the rate probably i don't know maybe it's because people are more um the social media is making it easy you know to report all these things uh people are the level the rate of suicide depression you know people living in overwhelming sadness it's, it's crazy people are sad i mean you just stepped on someone you know maybe mistakenly stepped on someone and you say oh, i'm sorry and the person look at you and the person snapped at you and you feel like ah, i just said i'm sorry you know you are dealing with your boss and you are coming to your office in the morning and you're happy you know everything is you are just you know happy and giggling and then you say good morning to your boss and your boss look at you and say what is good about the money you know you walk into the market you know you try to talk to people people are angry people are sad people are agitated people get angry over little things you see there is a level you master you know you could actually master your life you know there's a level you master life to and you know certain things doesn't certain things will not even budge you they won't move you anymore i am i i am not there yet but i'm learning i am learning to to master my emotion to not allow people's reaction to affect the way I, I i act you know every time i see i mean because we deal with people there are times you're going to you constantly you are going to be 
I mean, people are going to get on your nerves. Constantly, you are going to have issues or reasons to get angry. But if you learn to master your emotion, it doesn't mean that you can't get angry, but it means that you could actually control the way you react to people. Certain times of people act to you, and you know, you just maybe the person did something to you early in the morning before you i mean if you are not careful the rest of your day could be spoiled by that singular action so what do you do you you need to start mastering your emotion your master life you know i talked about temperaments maybe i think maybe i should take that topic you know i've been talking about it and believe me that everybody understand what is temperament temperament people knows you know but experience has taught me on this show that you know there are certain things that I talk about and I feel like everybody knows, you know, I just mentioned it. I feel like I mean, you know, everyone knows that. I mean, I will be shocked to know, to know, I mean, to find out that, <coughs> excuse me, maybe 90% of people that are actually listening to me doesn't even have an idea, maybe only about 10%. So even if it's just 1% or 2% that needs to hear it, I think I'm going to be talking about temperament. You, should, you know, if you understand temperament, you know, in my counseling sessions, I usually tell people, you know, that uh, I remember, okay, I mean, so much to talk about. You know, I tell people, like, if you are fighting your husband or you are fighting your wife, you are trying to, you are shouting, you are crying, you want them to change, they are not going to change. They are not going to change. You don't just wake up one day and want to change a 30 years old man, a 40 years old man. How are you going to do that? Or a 45 years old woman, a 35, even a 27, 25 years old woman, you can't change them. That is why you keep having constant conflict because as much as you are trying to change them, they are feeling like you are trying to mount pressure on them. And human beings are wired to be resistant, you know, so people don't want to be controlled. People, human beings are wired to be not compliant, you know, so they want to tell you that I'm not going to do what you want me to do. So instead of things getting better, it's going to be getting bad. That's why you keep saying that you have fought, you have shouted, you've argued, you've reported to everybody. That man is not changing. That woman is not changing because people don't change as adult except they make up their mind to do so people don't change as adults except they, are, they make up their mind to do so and the only way they could change their mind is if they see reason why they need to change and they make up their mind themselves to change you know so your talking your shouting is not going to do anything it's, going, it's just going to worsen the situation because this is a man or a woman who is coming from a different background this person has been molded has been formed by a particular religious belief a particular uh, cultural belief a particular upbringing the experiences he picked up or she picked up while she was growing up are the things that molded him or her to become whom she is so you can't just wake up because you just got married or you're in a relationship and expect the person to change just like that it doesn't work that is why Okay, that's just by the way. That's why when I talk about temperaments, when you understand, for me, you know, I am not there. Like I have said, I'm not perfect. I'm far from being perfect. But I'm learning, you know. And I understand all these things. And it helps me, you know, to, to, to manage people better, you know. And, you know, certain times when people act in certain way, I just look at them and I, and I put them in a particular place. Okay, it's just being melancholic. Oh, he's just being phlegmatic. Oh, he's just being a sanguine that he is. You know, when I do that, it helps me not to get angry, not to get bothered by their attitude and start getting worried or agitated and getting depressed or sad because somebody behaves a certain way. All right? So, I think one of these days, I'm going to be taking that topic, temperament. Probably I might even do that on Thursday. You know, let me talk to you. If I can complete this topic tonight. Let me talk to you so you understand different temperaments. You will be able to relate with people better so that people's actions or reactions or inaction will affect you less, you know. So tonight, I'm actually talking about a topic that I picked considering everything that has been happening around us, considering the way people are sad, people are in bad relationships, people are in bad marriages, people are emotionally drained, people are depressed, people are thinking of, you know, doing you know harming themselves or 
whatever but tonight if you are listening to me and probably you are the point that you are overwhelmed with sadness you are depressed it doesn't seem like everything is like anything is working in your relationship or in your marriage or even in your life or whatever it is maybe your life is beautiful and but you still want to pick one or two things uh, from what i'm going to be talking about tonight tonight i'm going to be talking about how to live life to the fullest how to live life to the fullest this is going to help a lot of people who are finding it difficult to manage people who are finding it difficult to be happy who are finding it difficult to live their life who are who are really being affected by people's reaction around them if you really really listen to this topic and like i said pick up your pen and paper and write the points down and look at you know i say this a lot of time on this show i don't i just don't want to come here and start talking and then you come back home and say oh oh dr tolu she know how to talk she understand it's beyond that actually because you know when people come for therapy in my office i tell them there is no magic this is no abracadabra. This is no oh, pray, 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 and something will happen. I believe in the power of prayer, but we are talking about therapy. We are talking about practical solutions. So there is no magic. There is nothing that is going to make it to happen. It is you that is going to make it to happen. So it is consistent, conscious, deliberate effort. Without that, nothing is going to happen. If you come to my office, I give you exercise. You don't do them. I tell you to do some things and you write them there. You wrote them down and then you left my office and you you just maybe kept them so we'll keep them in one corner. Nothing is going to happen. All right. So tonight, like I encourage you all the time on this show, pick your pen and paper or pick your phone. You know, type these things, you know, pick the points and write them down. So sometimes you could go back to it, look at them over and over till they become a part of you. All right. So you are welcome to my show once again. And, you know, I have a song I want to play about happiness, you know, because this is, this is about how to live your life, living life to the fullest, making sure you are happy. I mean, life is too short to be sad and dejected, really. And like I said in my broadcast tonight, you need to understand that none of us is going to get out of this place alive. So you need to make the best of it. You aren't getting out of here alive, baby. So... You need to make the best of it. Hi. All right, welcome back. That was Happy by Pharrell. Pharrell Williams. I love that song. I don't want to dance too much because I'm in the studio. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm going to read this to you. I've told you I'm talking about how to live your life to the fullest. In fact, you know, I'm picking this topic because you can't give what you don't have. You know, so if your life... Let me, let me say this. Let me just say this by the way if you are a single lady or a single guy now to be truthful this is very common with ladies because of the kind of society we find ourselves that people are mounting pressure on you to get married to um you know um you are getting old the tongues are wailing everybody's looking at you you are passing they are touching themselves and look at her she's 30 she's 40 and she's single i am a matchmaker and i understand what these ladies are going through matured single ladies the society is not helping them at all so if you are in that situation and because of all these things because you are human it is it is easy for these things to get into you and there is something in i think is in i think it's in fix six yeah it, it's called um uh i think electronic field now I, I remember you know my secondary school physics now you know you know there is something when your life is overwhelmed you know because all this thing that people are saying as a way of getting to you and then your life is overwhelmed with sadness, with de re dejection. You are depressed. You are sad because, you know, because of all these things, you are single. You just want to get married. People are mounting pressure. People are looking at you with funny faces and all that. And then all this pressure get into you. And your life becomes sad and depressed and unhappy. Even if you try to put up an, uh, a, a good face. As much as you have allowed those things to get into you, as long as they are already into you, you are sad on the inside. There is a magnetic field, you know, around you. And 
that field around you, the signal is sending is a signal of frustration, of desperation, of sadness. So when a man is coming to you, what they see, what they see around you is a depressed, a sad, even if you try to put up a, a good face. Now, what am I trying to say? You need to master your emotion to a level where whatever anybody is saying, it's not easy. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. You keep working on yourself till you could get to a level where you allow your happiness to flow from within and you live your life irrespective of what anybody is thinking. All right? Now, that's by the way. So, I, I just said that's by the way. And, you know, so the point is, even if, if you are in a relationship or if you are married, if your life is sad, if your life is life is depressed, forget it. You can never be your marriage can never be happy. So you can't give what you don't have. If everything about you is sadness, depression, frustration, there is no way your kids are going to be affected. Your husband, your wife, people around you, your friend, everybody. Have you noticed that if you are in an office and you came in with a bad aura, it's very very common. The positive aura doesn't even spread. As much as a bad one, if you are a type that you have staff, notice if there is a bad staff that is always depressed, always sad, always unhappy, as soon as she comes in, even the people that are laughing and happy before they become quiet, all right? This might not be a very popular topic, but people need this desperately. People need this topic, and I really need you to go along with me, all right? So you need this. You need to live your life to the fullest. Life is short. And like I said, if you are sad, forget it. Every other person, your work, your business, every other person and things around your life is going to be affected. Now listen to this story that I want to read. This is a scenario as written by Andrew Freebie. All right. It is your typical Monday morning. You wake up at the same time you always do. You roll out of your bed, brush your teeth, shower, and get ready to go off to work. You give your spouse a quick kiss, goodbye, like a goodbye kiss, and then you unlock your front door and walk out into the fresh morning hair. Humming a few lines from Taylor Swift, I knew you were trouble. You unlock your car, plug down into the driver's seat, and turn the key, starting your engine. After checking your mirrors and buckling your seatbelt, you pull out of your driveway and begin your daily commute while listening to the latest NPR. That's National Public Radio. So let me say, while listening to Nigeria Info, all right? Rant about our current political climate, which is what Nigeria Info knew how to do best, all right? Everything is business as usual. Except that you spill your coffee all over your lap as you merge onto the interstate. Probably you have a coffee or a bottle of water with you. And then you spilled it on your all over your lap. As the hot liquid boils the skin on your thigh, you instinct instinctually, you know, <laughs> you couldn't control it it's like a reflex action. You look down at your lap and attempt to blot the coffee that is burning your skin. When you look up, you realize that you that as you spilled your coffee, you accidentally jerked the steering steering wheel to the left, and in less than a second your car is sent off to the side of the road and directly into the large oak tree you always pass on your way to the office and just like that your life is over think about that think about that story it could actually be you god forbid now stop imagining it's a bad situation it's a bad scenario right but if it happened to you, if this thing happened to you tomorrow morning, how will you feel? Will you be fulfilled? How do people die fulfilled? Is it by spending hundreds of years? Is it by spending donkey of years? How do you die fulfilled? Or will you die with regrets? Now, most people that are listening to me actually fall into the second category of dying, dying with regrets. Now, this scenario I painted actually might look like, you know, a U.S. scenario. It, it, this guy is actually based in America. But it might actually be worse in Nigeria. Because there are many things competing 
with your life to send you to early grave. You know, from bad contractor, a bad plumber in your in, in your in your house. You know, the, a, a bad electrician who exposed your your probably your eater to uh, a bad plumber plumber and a bad electrician exposing your electric cable to water and you could get shocked. It could be a bad contractor who didn't build your building very well. It could be uh, I mean careless container carrying trucks that are not not tied together accidental discharge from careless security officials you know bad bridges bad roads <laughs> arm robbers i mean i'm telling you it is worse it could be the things that are competing to take your life away from you in nigeria is actually worse than from the u.s the scenario i just painted so you need to understand that life is short. Life is short and the fact that you are in Nigeria make it worse. Whether you agree with me or not, forget, oh, God, we protect. I believe, forget that. I mean, as much as I don't talk about God on this show because I, I, I try to, because you go to church a lot and you see your pastor talking to you. Why do you want to listen to Intimate Talk with Dr. Tola and I will start quoting the Bible and this is practical situation. But forget it, I am a born-again Christian deeply. You don't, you don't want to know deeply. My life has always been about Christ, all right? So that's just by the way. But this is professional uh, talk here. So forget all your talk about, you know, uh, you pray and pray and pray. I'm not talking about that. But forget it. In Nigeria, the things that are battling to take your life away from you are actually more than you can imagine. Now, now, realizing how tough it is in Nigeria, you know, to make a living, you need you have bills to pay. In fact, now you want to pay bills in this country. These are bills that, that are inconsistent, unexpected. You don't even know. I mean, if you are in a sane society, you know that at the end of the month you have to pay this. In Nigeria, you wake up and the bills are coming. You didn't plan for them. And you don't even have, have option. They are telling you, give me, you know, somebody just... I mean, <laughs> life in Nigeria is... Is serious now. Imagine passing all through this, and at the end of the day, all you think about in your life is how to pay bills, how to make ends meet, how to do, and you forget living. You forget living, you forget that life is short, you forget that you're not going to get out of this place alive. <laughs> I think this topic is good for you to have a rethink on now to wake up from your slumber and start living, all right? Now, considering the level of bad relationship that people are going through these days, I mean, people are finding themselves these days, bad marriages, there is no better time to discuss this kind of topic than now. Relationships are terrible, deceit, lies, anger, battling, abuse, everywhere. I mean, people are deceiving themselves in the name of relationship and marriage these days. There is no better time to talk about this topic than now. Now you need to live your life irrespective of whatever is happening around you. All right. This topic actually speaks to me as well. All right. And it dawned on me, you know, that <laughs> I mean, for the past few weeks, somehow I've been, you know, ruminating over this and I've actually decided to put it together considering every time I open in social media, I see this one committed suicide, this one just died, this, I mean, this is, there is no better time to talk about this so that you could be encouraged to live your life irrespective of what is happening around you. If you are not careful, you will be carried away taking care of wife, children, husband and everything and your life will just be empty and you die like a carcass. Alright? So how do you live your life to the fullest? Okay? Just follow me as I give you this thing that you know you could do to make conscious effort to make yourself happy and add spices to your life at the end of the day funny enough if your life is happy you will be shocked that it will reflect in your relationship and in your marriage so number one point is allow the past to stay in the past now allow the past if you have made a mistake or somebody has hurt you something bad has happened whatever come on whether they tell you you know you don't ah this one doesn't think and you see like I said, I'm going to be talking about temperament actually because, you know, how sad or how happy you will be or you are actually has a lot to do with your temperament. You know, for me, people like me, I am actually melancholic major 
and it's very difficult to excite people who are melancholic all right very very difficult people are sanguine you know there are people like ah this one no this one no they even think you know this one nothing they worry them i mean those are the people that are actually living it's better people tell you you know they think of course not to extreme all right of course and, and you need to understand that this topic is 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 not trying to make you to live life carelessly that that's not the essence the essence is for you to live to understand how to manage your emotion how to live happy in the midst of all the chaos and all the trouble and all the problem that are happening around you all right allow the past to stay in the past please as much as possible you can put this point down stop worrying your head about things you can't help things that have happened that have gone and you couldn't do anything about them why are you worried stop wallowing in regret and self-pity they are just going to keep stealing your happiness away from you funny enough these things are pushing you to your grave they are pushing you to early grave all these things that are there and you are feeling oh oh i done something wrong i mean people like <laughs> melancholic you know prone to self self-condemnation some of you i mean they are very religious you have done something wrong and then you've gone to god and god has forgiven you you will never forgive yourself you keep going back to it you keep thinking about it god this will remember again it's merciful it's not like you all right but you keep going back to it so number one allow the past to stay in the past the best you could do is to pick your lessons from whatever mistake you have made and move on all right stop dwelling on it it will steal your happiness away number two learn to forgive and stop holding on to grudges you see when you don't forgive we hear this a lot of time i am very you see somebody like me it's very difficult to offend me because but at the same time it's very easy for me to count for you because I don't get angry easily. You keep doing it, do 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 it till I can't take it no more. And the day I sparked, I sparked. And I will spark and people will be wondering, ah, ah, you know, ah, you know, but I've gone, I've bottled it up for a long time. These days, I am learning to, at the, immediately that thing happened, I want to sort it out there and there. I don't want to keep adding it or piling it up because it's going to be, as if you pile stuff up like that, as soon as you see that person, your happiness is take is going away because when you see that person you are getting angry you are not you are not hurting those people you are hurting yourself when you don't forgive people you are the one that is in trouble it is not the person you are not forgiving so tonight if there is anyone that has hurt you offended you whenever you remember the person whenever you see them on social media in fact maybe i should say this is not part of what i want to say if there is somebody you are following on social media that is mounting unnecessary pressure on you, maybe, I mean, it's okay to want to be like people. It's okay to, but, you know, looking at social media these days, people could easily get carried away. These people, a lot of people are living fake life. And then you look at them and you feel like, hey, I want to buy this shoe. Oh, I want to buy this L. Hey, I want to buy this top. Oh, I want to. If there is anybody you are following on social media that is mounting pressure, or you are feeling, oh, I, I, you, are, you are competing with that person, stop following them. Stop following so you could live your life. Stop following so that you will remove yourself away from those distractions. Except people that could add to your life. So learn to forgive and stop holding on to grudges. For your own sake, let go for your sake. Even if you have to hold conversation, if it's a bad ex, if somebody that has really offended you, that broke your heart and it was so terrible, the person messed up your life, for your sake, let it go. Pick up your phone and call them. If you want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, sit down with them and discuss it. Let it go. Not for their sake, but for your sake. Number three, go for a vacation. How do I overemphasize this? Considering the current economic situation of Nigeria, this could be tough. And, and I need to say this. I need to say this. I noticed this recently in my clients, some of my clients. Uh, probably it's because of the, um, I mean, the summer season. People want to travel on vacation and all that. My sisters and brothers, especially women. You are not going to, for, for, to, or, to or for a vacation because you're not because you want to compete <laughs> if that is your aim it's not it's not for crying out loud who cares you need to go because of your well-being for your sanity's sake 
Now, if you don't have the money, please don't say, oh, my neighbor has gone. Everybody around me is going and put yourself, the, the pressure. You see, a research found out that when people are planning for vacation, they are, um, it is found out, you know, when they measure the level, when the level of happiness is measured, they found out that people are happier two weeks, you know, earlier when they are planning for vacation. Now, in your own case, the happiness, the joy you are supposed to derive, you are not going to get it. If you are under pressure looking for money because you just want to travel, you want to compete, please, traveling, I mean, some people will even travel and when they get to America, you stay in the hotel 247. If you want to rest, you can actually take a room unless you want to enjoy the flights. I mean, and I think those long hours flights are crazy, all right? But for, or maybe you just, you want to, maybe flying is an adventure for you. If not, why will you go to America for a vacation and stay in a hotel and all you do is stay in a hotel for money to night shopping mall and go to shopping mall and come back? No. You should plan your vacation. You should plan nice things to do. You should write them down. You should look for places around where you are going to stay and look for things you could do. If there is a beach around, if there is a museum around, if there is... Make the best of those days you are going to spend in those vacations. And as much as possible, don't do it because you want to compete. Your body needs vacation this is going to make you happy this is going to make you to live how could you be working from january to december and there is no time to enjoy your life what are you working for what are you working for for crying out loud and at the end of the day you do your, your, your carcass uh, for most men even women your carcass is what you have in that your marriage because you are exhausted you are tired you don't refresh yourself you know and Sometimes, maybe what you need to do is to go to probably you can't go see warm spring. If you don't have all the money to travel and probably just go stay in that serene environment, enjoy the nature, enjoy the environment, take time to walk in, you know, if it's, you know, a very quiet part, uh, enjoying nature, you know, the beautiful, like, the beautiful I, I used to say this, and the beautiful things of life are actually not necessarily bought with money. Go for a vacation. All right, go for it. it will boost your happiness it will help you to live your life so that you don't just walk walk on me you just exist most people that are listening to me tonight you are just existing you're not living you're not living all you do is work 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 take time out for vacation i can't overemphasize this there are a lot of historic places you could visit in nigeria and i know that a lot of people are doing a lot about packaging vacation here vacation there See the one you could go if your money can take you to Nigeria. If it can't take you, if it is your village, pack your load and go to the village. Just spend a few days, go to the farm, go to the stream, you know, get catapults and go to the bush, you know, kill birds and all that. Relax and go for a vacation. Number four, stop working too hard. Stop working too hard. That is very difficult to say in Nigeria, actually. All right. But what is the point of putting a bigger and bigger roof over your child's head if he doesn't even recognize your face when you come home? What is the point of buying your wife a fancy car if you never spend any quality time with her? What's the essence? What's the point of having anything if you don't have the time and the freedom of actually living your life to enjoy them? What's the essence? What's the essence of working and working and working and not giving your time space? You will work and work and work. You will pursue money and pursue, 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 pursue. At the end of the day, nothing. Stop working too hard. I am not saying be lazy, but do not work at the expense of your happiness, at the expense of your marriage, of, at the expense of people you care about. Don't do it. As much as those people want to be in your life, it's not like they don't want to be in your life. You need to make conscious effort to get close to them and take care of them. Number five, get out of toxic relationship. You see, bad relationship will drain your energy. If you are listening to me, and uh, you see, when they ask you, hey, Gloria, what are you doing with Kinsley? I mean, you've been in a relationship for some time and they're asking you, Gloria, what are you doing with Kinsley? And you say, I don't know. In fact, I just don't know. Everything, every time they ask you, I just don't know. Relationship that is always, you see, it is, you are better off single 
than being in a bad, terrible marriage or in a bad relationship that is always taking and taking. In fact, any relationship that keep taking from you without giving back to you does not worth it. It doesn't worth it. Why will you be in a relationship? I mean, when people call me and uh, Dr. Tolu or send me messages and I love her, I'm doing everything. She's not res uh, responding to my call. I'm always calling this. He's not doing this. I tell them you are the only one that is in that relationship. Relationship should take, it, it should leave you better, happier, you know, more fulfilled, not take away from you. It, I mean, it's it not like it, it shouldn't take your happiness away from you. Get out! If you are in a toxic relationship, it's going to drain your energy. It's going to drain your happiness. You're, going, you're just going to be carcass. You're not going to look beautiful for other people that might even want to come across or come at, at me around you. Get out! The energy you are using to fix the relationship that is not there, divert it to fixing your life. Actually, if you are in a toxic relationship, your life will never be happy. Every time you are checking your phone, will it cost? Will he text? Will he call? <laughs> You're in trouble. You will never be. It could be very, very, it could be very, very pathetic. It could be very, very emotionally draining, sad. For you to be in love with someone and the person doesn't love you in return. It's, it's, it's the worst thing that could ever happen to anybody. There is no point. It is better to be alone. Don't say, ah, let, let's just be passionate. For what? Get out. If you are in a toxic relationship, if you really want to live your life to the fullest, all right, that's my number five. I will go on a short break, and by the time I come back, I will. I try to conclude this, but I don't think I can. All right, we are still talking. You are still on to intimate talk with Dr. Tolula, and you know, you could watch me live on Wazobia Max 259. I'm live on Nigeria Info 99.3, and I'm live on Facebook watch me live i'm not doing instagram tonight <laughs> so join me on facebook live all right okay we are still talking how to live your life to the fullest and i think that song really spoke to me put me in the mood and i love every lyrics of that song absolutely absolutely not by deborah cox i think it's a nice song all right okay so we'll be talking about how to live your life to the fullest i can't finish this tonight okay I talk about allowing the past to stay in the past, learn to forgive and stop holding on to grudges. Go for a vocation, stop working too hard, get out of a toxic relationship. And my number six, do things that make you happy. Do things that make you happy. Now, when I said do things that make you happy, of course, you need to be reasonable. I'm not saying you should go overboard. I'm not saying you should be unreasonable or do, I mean, things that are not right, okay? I mean, you should be modest about this, all right? But the point is, do things that make you happy. You don't owe anybody any apology. Seriously, dance like, if you have to dance, dance like no one is watching. Laugh uncontrollably, jump up, relax, shout, do whatever. Do things that make you happy. Work on things that add to your happiness and start worrying your head about what one person is thinking or the other all right swim run go on a date make new friends anything that is that makes you smile is worth it anything that makes you smile that make you happy is worth it go on a date make new friends accept invitations i think i'm going to go to that and then number seven learn to smile learn to smile stop i mean i mean there's a common <laughs> i don't i can't remember like it take uh maybe as uh, i can't remember actually but i take it take like maybe 70 mozu to to smile i can't remember what and then about one outrageous maybe about 200 or 2000 or something muscles to frown all right so smile smile make up your mind to smile you see i tell young ladies that come to me for matchmaking you know that you want a man or, or a guy okay let's say a guy you know you want a lady you're single and somebody but it's very common actually it's very common with women and you like a guy or you know this guy could be a possible i mean a potential sweet and the guy is laughing at you and you are bony you are entering a taxi and everybody is smiling you are the only one that is bony for crying out loud smile make it a point even if the person is no you know you know sometimes i do this <laughs> i'm just even 
to female, you know. I'm not saying to male, don't think Dr. To Louis, <laughs> you know, but sometimes when I'm driving, I like to sing. I just love to do that in my car. If I'm the one driving and it's not my driver, come on, you will see, you must find me singing. I will sing, I will dance. I just, and when people smile, when people look at me like some women, they look at me and I smile back at them, you know, when I'm driving. I just want to, I'm learning. Naturally, I'm not that kind of a person, but I'm learning to work on myself, all right? Smile, learn to smile, learn to be happy, learn to smile at people, learn to, when people smile at you, smile back. Don't turn your face away from them. Number eight, visit a library or read a new book. Visit a library or read a new book. If there's a library around you, go there. It, it doesn't really mean you're going to be library to probably sit down and read. It might just be because you want to learn new things. You want to pick up, you know, just see new things around. I mean, there are a lot of... See, like I said, these things are actually speaking to me. I just found out that there is a beautiful library in... Uh, I remember in, uh, uh, Nigeria if we had, uh, I think, literary or book reading week about a month or two months ago is something we should all cultivate there even if it's mis and boom just pick up something and read all right read something that will make you laugh and smile and you know learn to visit a library and pick a new book to read make new discoveries you know through reading i mean you stop you start dying when you stop reading funny enough there are some books when you pick and you are reading them you are so engrossed you are so happy you are so relaxed because of those books do that number nine Accept invitations as much as possible. Your neighbor, <laughs> you see, on the island, <laughs> I look at, I mean, people on the island and I feel like this is this is actually not right. I mean, you are living in a terrace duplex and your neighbors are having a birthday and you are just passing, you can't say hello. Or maybe you are feeling, if I say hello, of course, it's, it, it might happen. You say hello and they look at you and like, who invited you? You know, it, it's so sad that we are losing, even the, the white people we are trying to copy, they still maintain, you still notice that at the end of the year, they normally have this, they are, you know, reunion, family reunion, you see great grandfather, father and everything. In Nigeria, everything we do, we do overboard. Because you live on the island, you can't say hello to your, to your neighbor, you just pass and I don't get it. All right? As much as possible, accept invitations. Go to event, event uh, websites and pick event that can better your life, event that can improve your business, your mental health, you know, that can go there instead of sitting and sleeping at home. All right? Accept invitation. Ordinarily, somebody is getting married in your office, you, you wouldn't have gone. Please start going. I mean, it takes time, you know, those few times you spend in that place, you're going to you release some tension. You know, go for weddings, go for birthday parties, accept invitation as much as possible. Go out, mix up with people. It will help you to live your life to the fullest. And then number 10, I think that's the last one I will take. And then I will open the phone line. Go on a date. Go on a date. Whether with a friend, whether with an acquaintance, or maybe with your partner, go out on a date. Go out on a date. Somebody want to give you lunch, what's a big deal? Go out. Go and eat the lunch. Go for buffet. Go for dinner. Go for... Go out on a date. Go for... You know, a lot of dates you could do, you know. with Especially with the person you care about. Some of us has been married for 10 years, for 20 years. It was during the early stage of the marriage that you go out on a date. No dating, you know. In fact, tonight, I mean, it's one of the exercises I give to couples. It, it, it's an opportunity for you, this kind of topics, an opportunity for you to look at your life and then make up your mind, you know, to do something nice. Like, babe, can we just, you know, dress up like a cup, like you are going for a special date and go for that dinner with your tuxedo, tuxedo with your lovely dinner dress and just give yourself a treat. All right. Okay. I see I have time more points. In fact, as a matter of fact, 12 more points, but I've been talking <laughs> for like one hour now, almost one hour. So I'm going to be stopping here. I want to listen to your comments. And of course, if you want to ask me questions, you could ask me. I will pick your course and I will read your question. You could go to my Facebook. Let me see. Let me see if I can see you here. Um, 
let's see let's see let's see okay if i can do that so you can go to intimate talk with tolu on facebook or go to intimate talk with tolu on instagram Intim just the way i said it intimate talk with tolu all right so i'm going to be picking your calls i'm going to be reading your comments so if you have any question you want to ask me um something that is bothering you about your relationship about your sex life especially when it has to do with sex and then about your marriage ask me tonight things you can't ask anybody ask dr tulu you are my shoulder to lean on all right and of course if you want to make contributions or comments to the topic that i just talked about tonight you could as well call me or go to intimate talk with tulu on facebook or on instagram and i'm also going to read your question or your comment i hope we're clear with that all right She's blunt, real, and practical. She is a professional clinical counselor, sex therapist, and excellent matchmaker. She can help you rekindle the flames of love. Join Dr. Tolu. Join Dr. Tolu. The Fixer, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Nigeria Info. Call us on 0127709930127719301277293 and 0127739930. This is Nigeria Info. We are listening. Call us on 0127709930127719930127729930 and 0127739930. This is Nigeria Info. We are listening. All right. Um I have a girlfriend. I love her for sure. She loves me. Okay, let me pick my call first and then I'll come back to the messages. I could see them coming in, but I'm picking my calls. All right. Hello. Good evening, Dr. Sigma. Good morning. <laughs> oh, sorry. Good morning. Yes, morning already. Yeah. Um, my name is Mike. I'm coming from the mirror. Okay. Um, but right now, I'm not in a relationship, but the problem I have is with two in my last relationship. Okay. My, my girlfriend, she broke up with me like last year, this month, most of the year. Okay. So after, after we broke up, we were first like three months, and then, you know, I was, I mean, she came back like with her table friend, da da da. And it makes me, it's only difficult to get me back. I kind of let the let to the friend. Okay. But, but now she, she's kind of, she's like the last month, she went on the team. With another girl, and I found myself in a place I don't want to be like. It's a thing I was being in half a game, and, mm -hmm. and I understand we're not together. I shouldn't, I shouldn't turn that way. Mm -hmm. but, but I felt it like she just broke my heart again. Yeah? And there's nothing I could do, but I, I, I just want to get out, get out of this situation. I just, I just. I don't know. Okay, so as it says now, if I understand you very well, you are still in love with this lady. Yes, that's right. That's it. You, even if you don't want to accept it, that is it. Because you are friends now, right? Yes. You are no longer dating, and when she's dating someone else, and you feel bad about it. Yes. All right. Okay, so now this lady is no longer in love with you. You are the only one that is loving here. Now, the, so the first thing you need to understand is let it be clear to you that you are the only one that is in love here. Okay? Okay, okay. Maybe I should drop your call and then answer your question, all right? Because I could get feedbacks. Number one thing you need to tell yourself is you are the only one that is in love here. This lady has moved on with our life. Even if she comes back to you, it could work. But you don't want to be 
I mean, you deserve better than being a second option. Meaning, I mean, saying that if it doesn't work, I can always come back to, um, what's your name again? I can't remember, Michael or something. I mean, if it doesn't work, you know, she could go here, go to Mr. A, go to Mr. B, go to Mr. C, and know that Michael is in love with me. It's always there. If if it, if, it, if it doesn't work with A, B, or C, Michael, I will always come back to Michael. You deserve better because even if she comes back to you, it's not going to work because you are not the person she want to be with. You are just the second option. Even if you get married to that kind of a woman, you are going to be in trouble. So let that be clear to you. And then now tell yourself you deserve better. Now you actually need therapy. What you need is counseling. Serious want to come out of this. But I will see the best I could do on radio tonight. You need to tell yourself that you deserve better. That's another thing. That's number two. So let, this, let the reality sink in. That's number one. Number two, tell yourself you deserve better than being a second option. Unless if you see yourself that that is all you are worth. Number three, you need to... I mean, she can't have a cake and... She can't eat a cake and have it. You need to cut every relationship with this lady. You can be a friend. You are, you too, you are feeling like, okay, let me still be a friend because I love her. You don't need that. That is, that is your breaking point. Block her from social media. Block her phone number for now. By the time you're able to come back to yourself, you, you only become okay when you can see her working with another man without feeling hurt. And to get to that point for now, you might need to cut off every relationship, every contact with her. You know, where you talk to her, where you see her pictures, everything, block that for now. That's number three. Then divert your energy at, I mean, into things that make you happy. Divert your energy to things that make you happy and concentrate on those things. By the time, after some time, you notice that those things are going to be taking your time and you're going to be forgetting that gradually. And before you know it, you can actually unblock and see her pictures and you are going to be fine. But most of, I mean, those are the four points. Just take note of them and work on those. I think they're going to help you. But most of when you find yourself in situations like this, some of the issues of the heart might not be able, are not things that Dr. Tolu could solve in one minute or two minutes on radio. You might need to book proper counseling appointment to talk about it. But I hope those four points help you. If you follow them, they're going to help you. Hello? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your radio. It's Ike. Call it from the Kedja. Okay. Uh, I have a relationship. I, I'm getting the feedback. Yes, I Call it from the Kedja. Yes, you, you want to put up your radio? Yes, up now. Okay. Tell you, it's Ike. Call it from the Kedja. All right, all right. Go I on. have a relationship. I have a relationship that's working out now. Okay. So first I tell me, before I go to... Are you there? Today is, today is birthday. Okay. Let me attack a little bit doing today is his birthday. Okay. Let me do let me do you find my relationship to work out the marriage level and today's his birthday. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm driving today's his birthday. Let me attack him. Okay. Let me do it. Help me to get married and today's his birthday. Let me attack him. Happy birthday. Okay. Let me do it. Okay, I'm sure you can listen you can if he's listening, yes. I'm sure they can hear you. Yeah, Ibu Dola, me Ibu Dola, okay. Ibu Dola, Ibu Dola, to you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for thank calling. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank All right. Thank you, uh, Nuruddin, uh, Ibu Dola. I hope I get that. Somebody is calling to say you helped him in his relationship and is saying thank you to you. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. My. My, my name is um Fini, calling from Ikeja. Okay. I'm in the I'm in the years. Okay. Yeah, I'm working as my dad, but I, but I have a business. Okay. Yeah. We, well, 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 I'm 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 telling you that, that I, I have a as let me say a relationship. Okay. Yeah. But the problem is that I mean I don't know if she, if she messed up, but before she messed up, she told me that 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 she's pregnant for okay. some time. So. Okay. Due to me and my friend have a some contribution okay. they were doing. Okay. So I promise she said that she said that there are parents that are stopping her too. So I just so I went to my bank and I and I I told her about about to go to go and the institution. Okay. So after that I called my I met some I met some of my friends like my lawyer. And the body staff, so I want to only give you what I know about the different media, my friends. Okay. So I, I met my, my auntie, I told her about the introduction, we were 
things, things, things that goes on that that, that mess up around. So man, so yeah, that, 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 that's not a problem. So I went to my bank now. I, the man, the man was, the, the, my bank was um was just um something sometimes some, some kind of money. So I ran up for the phone deduction. After everything, after all the expenses, then you get the the guy just telling tell me that that um that that she was that she was that she was pregnant that um she was just like trying to know if if I can withstand if she's pregnant and uh, that. I, I so are you not married man. to her now? No, because of my auntie is my auntie is a doctor. And my auntie is oh, oh, my auntie is a doctor. And, and, Did and you do the introduction? Do. No, I mean, she, she, when, when I read the video on, on Saturday to see their parents and both the brothers, they both, I mean, they were hungry with, with the girl. What is she going to do that kind of test? And even, even her parents, even, even me. Okay, so what's the problem now? The problem is that now, my mind is there. My mind is there. They are so angry with her that, that she should not. She shouldn't have lied. That kind of lie. That I, I went out with those kind of people that after everything I messed up. I, I disappoint them and get it. Then, okay, so you went with people to meet her parents. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when I went, uh, I don't know if they did really tested me if I can withstand the doctor for anything because I knew that even have I have some millions in my account that I, I can I can do that for for that. But I, 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 I was waiting for her for, 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 for that time so that I can, I can, have, I can see my, my school so okay. I can do anything like that. Okay, but it's not like so, you have spent the money now. Yes, I, I spent the money. I, I spent the money because I, I was, I, like, I, 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 I want to go and do the right thing so that I can later to, 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 to go and see them to some kind of freedom of, of, of movement at home. Because of, I, I, okay, so that. have you done the introduction now? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so, because but you are not happy that she's not. I mean, you don't marry people just because of babies. No, 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 because of that. The reason why is that she told me that she was pregnant, that her parents sent her out for a tomb. That they did not see her. And, and you know, that her, her, her mom knew, knew me, and know where I'm living. So I was trying to be so sure that, so that, so that everything can be, can be okay. But now, then after now, she, she, she didn't leave, she didn't leave home. After we went to on, on Saturday that day, I, I, not saw, I, I not see her too. Then I, I didn't ask her friend, they said that she, she went out another day, but I don't see her. Then, uh, oh, that was a long one. That was a long one. And I don't, I, I really, I'm trying to get what exactly the problem is. You have done introduction. She's pregnant. She says she's pregnant. She lies. I mean, she lied. That was the problem, right? She lied and she wasn't pregnant and she said she was pregnant. And I think lying is, um, I mean, that's not a good way to test if a relationship is going to work or not. So I think you might need to redefine that relationship. I, I, I don't get that question very well, but I think you might need to redefine. The fact that you have done introduction doesn't mean you should get married to somebody you don't trust. All right? So redefine it. Hello? Hello? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Adi Jira. Okay. Uh, I'm 41 years. Okay. Uh. Hello. Hello. Yeah. I'm a single parent with Porsche. You are a single parent? Hello. Hello. Sorry. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning, you are my last caller. Uh, my name is Chinedu. My name is Kevin. Come for me, Kurede. Okay, good morning, Chinedu. Yeah, I just want to make a little conversation about that guy you said left him block up for all social media. Yeah. You know, in life, you need someone who, who will accept you completely, not someone who try to complete you. Mm-hmm. Let him sit down and think of what kind of lady she really wants in his life. Mm -hmm. A character and everything. Right. If she's that kind of woman he wants, let him go. But okay. if she's not the kind of woman he wants, I believe let him let him let her go, no matter what happens. Alright. Because you don't you don't need to force yourself to be in a place. 
Mm-mm. If someone loves you, we actually create a space for you. That's it. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. I mean, I've said that already, and that's um, a good one from. I mean, it's it, it's it's. It, it, in fact, you can't even be fighting for a relationship that is not existing. You can't fight for somebody who sees you as a second option. I'm sorry. I know that I couldn't. I mean, last week. It was all about calls and calls. I'm sorry if I couldn't take your call tonight. I'm very, very sorry. I know that the phones are buzzing, you know, but sorry. That's the best I could do tonight. And of course, I want to say this. Dating party, this is giving me serious headache. Almost about, up to like, close to 600 people have registered on Eventbrite. In fact, I put the name of a venue and I, I ran into trouble because of that venue. Because the person, because I've, I've actually gone there, maybe they couldn't remember, I've gone there to talk to them. But because we couldn't fix a date, I couldn't go back and book, you know. So, dating party, I don't know, I know that all the 600 people that are registered online might not be listening to me tonight. But if you are part of the people that want to come for the dating party, it's going to hold, please. I don't want people to say, oh, Dr. Tolu is, is a fraud. I mean, people keep calling my office, they were even calling the venue. I don't know how they get their number. They kept calling them. Is the dating party going to hold? Please. It's going to hold. But, but I want it to be bigger and better. So just give me time. I'm going to tell you the date, the time, and the venue. All right? Guys, the dating party is going to hold. But just just be patient with me. All right? Thank you guys for joining me tonight. And of course, if you want to see me for one-on-one counseling, for you are looking for a serious relationship that could lead to marriage, and before I forget my Patakot people, I'm going to be in Patakot on Saturday. I'm going to be speaking in an event. So, for those of you that have been planning to see me, Patakot people, if you are listening and you are watching me, I will be in Patakot on Saturday. All right? Thank you, guys. So, you want to ask me any questions, schedule an appointment, book me for a speaking engagement. I am available. Reach me on 081 845 I take it again, 081-845-75377. Or you could visit my website. My website, ask all the questions, um, answers to all your questions. IntimateSolutionNetwork.com. Just the way I said it, IntimateSolutionNetwork.com. And before I go, here is my food for thought for tonight. Think of you every step of the way. My food for thought for tonight. Life is a game. Play. Life is a challenge. Made it. Life is an opportunity. Capture it. Thank you for joining me tonight. The fixer is going to see you on Thursday. Have a happy, happy week ahead. All right? To enjoy more of this, our Ogun get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.